Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned a lot of uh, operations with percent, now let us try to understand increase or decrease in terms of percent. So what do we mean by increase or decrease? Now have you observed that when you were in class 2 and now that you are in class 7th, your height would have increased quite a lot. Right? So if you say that my height, so that increase in height, how do you define that increase in height in percentage? Let's say if you say that my height increased by 10% in the last 2 years, that means whatever my earlier height was, on top of that there is a 10% increase. Or if you say that I spent not you, maybe somebody who is working. So if he says that I spent 40% of my salary in 10 days. So basically he is talking about how much money does he spend in the first 10 days. He spends 40% of the salary in 10 days. So basically what is happening? In the first case, your height is increasing and you are denoting that increase in percentage. In the second case, what is happening? As you are spending 40% of your salary, what is happening to the bank balance that you have? That is gradually decreasing. So, so the salary that you had received, which had made your bank balance, so that bank balance is gradually decreasing. So here we will see how do we actually represent the increase or decrease in some quantity in terms of percentage. So we will see how to exactly convert increase or decrease as percentage. So for this, let us, we will consider an example. So increase or decrease in any quantity is always calculated as a percentage of the initial amount. This is very important. So whenever you want to uh, express increase or decrease of anything in terms of percentage so that that should happen on the initial amount because the change is happening on the initial amount. Right? For example, earlier your height was 130 centimeters. Now your height is 150 centimeters. So basically this increase has happened on your initial height, on your existing previous height. Right? So the percentage always is calculated on the initial amount. This is one very important point to be understood and remembered. So let us take an example. So here we see a mother-daughter duo and the mother says that in my childhood petrol was rupee 1 per litre. So the cost of petrol used to be rupee 1 for 1 litre. So this was the before scenario. This is how it was initially. So before rupee 1 for 1 litre of petrol. And then the daughter says that it is rupees 52 per litre today. So what is it now? So now the price is rupees 52 for 1 litre. So what do you think? What has happened? Whether uh, the uh, quantity has increased or decreased. So the quantity here is the price because the price is undergoing a change. So the price has increased from rupees 1 to rupees 51. So here we see an increase in the quantity. So how do we rep represent this increase in percentage? So for that, first of all, we need to find out how much is the increase. So how much is the increase? The increase would be the difference between these two values. That is rupees 52 minus rupee 1, which is equal to rupees 51. So this much is the increase. But we need to represent this increase in percentage. So percentage increase would be equal to the actual increase here the actual increase is rupees 51 divided by the original price or the initial price whatever you call it the initial price into 100 percent so this into 100 percent is just to convert the fraction into percentage so why did it be divided by the initial price because that is what i told right that percentage of increase or decrease will always be calculated out of the initial amount because whatever increase or decrease has happened it, it has happened on the initial amount so initial amount was rupee 1 so this increase has happened over rupee 1 so how much that increase is in order to know that you actually need to divide the increase by the initial price so this would be equal to 51 by 1 into 100. 
So this would be equal to 5100%. So this basically tells you that in these many years, the price of the petrol has actually increased by 5100%. So that's like a huge increase. Right. So this is how we actually convert increase or decrease in terms of percentage. So this is something that you need to know. Let us try this out. Find percentage of increase or decrease if the price of shirt decreased from rupees 80 to rupees 60. So with what was the initial price? So the initial price was rupees 80. And what is the later price or the decreased price? Because very clearly we can see that the price has reduced from 80 to rupees 60. Correct? So how much is the actual decrease? So the actual decrease would be the difference between these two. That is 80 minus 60 which is equal to rupees 20. So now when you have to calculate the percentage decrease that would be equal to the actual decrease divided by the initial price multiplied by 100%. So this would be equal to 20 divided by 80 into 100. So this would be equal to 25. So we would say that there was a 25% decrease in the price of the shirt. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.